Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Thanks, Washington. Well done. Good dog. Here you go, a little reward. Bring me up my newspaper, will you? You'll find me in my bedroom. You dogs are so pathetic. All those disgusting chores to chew on some old shoe? No way. It's delicious. And what's more, it's great for the teeth. <gasps> Good little doggy, who does everything Daddy tells him to. Got a problem, Vic? You're not jealous by any chance. Are you joking? See us cats, Wash? We don't have to go bootlicking humans for love and appreciation. All we have to do is be ourselves. Beautiful, agile, gracious, everything a dog is not. <laughs> Baloney! Dogs are a match for cats in every department. Yeah? So if that's true, can you, for example, explain to me why dogs can't climb trees, whereas cats can? Oh, yes, we can. It's just we have better things to do. I'll go climbing trees whenever you want, Bic. Yeah? Really? The first to grab the ribbon is the winner. But warning, if you fall, then... Elimination. Basically, if Wash falls, he loses. Looks like I've got time for a little cat nap. <sighs> Poor little Washington. Need a helping tail? Go on, grab hold. You're breaking my little heart. Hang on tight. Washington! 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 <laughs> Looks like you've lost, Vic. Speaking as a cat, I will say that I am very disappointed with your performance, Victoria. But speaking as Wash's best friend, I am pleased with the result. Way to go, Wash. You won, boy. So, Vic, ready to pay the price for defeat? Don't even think of it. Oh, look at Daddy's cute little dog. <laughs> ha, ha. Okay, had enough? Are you through? Are you happy now? Can I take this off? <gasps> you are pretty pie. Hey, Wash, not coming to say hi? What's he doing lying on Victoria's armchair? Come on, Wash, get up. Come say hi. Washington? Washington? Uh, what? How weird. See that, honey? Wash doesn't look like himself today. It looks like his head has gone flat. No, he's lost weight. Look, his skin is hanging off his bones. Okay, honey pie, double ration of kibble for you today. <laughs> Dog kibble. It's disgusting. Washington, you gotta eat. Go on. <laughs> Go on, little dog. Eat him up. What is yet? Wash got himself a double ration of kibble and we did it. It isn't funny. And it isn't Wash. It's Vic wearing Wash's costume. Yeah? Okay, time for some exercise, Washington. That'll soon perk you up. It's weird. It's like Wash's costume has grown too big for him. It's because it isn't Wash, Sam. It's Vic wearing Wash's costume. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Uh, hang on. Wash wearing... No. Who's it again? Go 
on, Washington, catch! Your reflexes are rusty, Washington. You're beginning to worry me. Luckily, I have a nice, juicy, vitamin-enriched bone for you. You should see her wash. Vic is hopeless at playing the dog. Uh, what? It has to stop right this minute. I've spent two years training to create the perfect dog act, and Victoria's ruining it all in one afternoon. If she carries on like that, the living stones are going to kick me out. Uh, you or Vic? Uh, me. I mean, Vic, and then me. If they throw Vic out wearing my dog costume, even if I do get it back, the Living Stones will never let me in the house again, Sam. <laughs> Vic, give me my costume back. Like I wanted to keep it. You could have watched out. You nearly ruined all my efforts at passing as the perfect pooch. Let it be a lesson to you. I didn't ask to wear your crummy costume. Hey, and another thing. Are you ready to fess up that cats are better than dogs? <laughs> Not on your life, Vic. Okay, if that's the way it is, I'm keeping it. And don't expect me to play the perfect pooch. I am hopeless at dog stuff. The worst around. Wash, <laughs> Washington! My slippers! <laughs> Washington! My slippers! Sam, go tell Vic right this minute that I admit cats are better than dogs. And make her give me my costume back, please. Wash, you bad dog. Don't ever do that again. Otherwise, you're in for trouble. No, give me that, Washington. You've been a bad dog. You don't have a right to your... Washington, calm down! Stay there and don't move. It's punishment time for you, you naughty dog. Come on, girls. We're going to leave Washington on his own. He has to calm down. He's being punished. Wash, no, I mean, Vic, Wash told me to tell you that, uh, that cats, uh, no, the dogs are better than cats. What? Dogs are better than cats? If it's war Wash wants, he's gonna get it. Ah, peace and tranquility. It looks like Washington has finally calmed down. <laughs> Have you gone crazy? Who did that? Own up right this minute, or... Uh-oh! Uh Things are getting way out of hand! We better go warn Wash! What about my costume? Is she gonna give it back? Yeah, I don't know. They cut it off into the yard, and Mr. Livingstone said you're punished and you have to stay on your own in the kitchen. Gotta stop bugging Vic! She's really mad. There's gonna be trouble. Huh? What? What kind of trouble? Ah! Washington, please calm down! Ah! What did you say to Victoria to wind her up like that? Exactly what you told me to say. The dogs are better than cats. Huh? Uh, no, that wasn't it. <clears throat> you naughty, naughty dog, Washington. Go to bed this instant. I shall decide what punishment you deserve. What's going on, honey? I don't know what's got into Washington. He's behaving dreadfully. Uh-oh! We better get your costume back and back! I have an idea. Try to tell the Living Stones that Victoria has disappeared. That way, she'll be forced to show herself without my costume and we'll be able to... Meow. Meow. Oh, Victoria, you are so sweet. Not like bad, bad Washington. Imagine if Wash attacked Vic or one of our other lovable sweetie pies. He's already attacked a postman. What if the next time he bites? I hate to say this, but for the safety of all of us, we must call the Animal Pound, honey. It's our duty. No! This is the end! Wait! What if Washington is sick? Maybe that's why he's behaving like this. You're right, honey. I'll call the vet this instant. You have called Madame Your Vet of this veterinary clinic. I'm obviously really busy right now. So don't call back until you've forgotten your problem. Let's go for a little walk to clear our minds, honey. We'll give him a call when we get back. Vic, where did you put my costume? So tell me, are cats? Yes, cats are better than dogs. But for Pete's sake, give me back my costume. If I don't get to play the perfect pooch when I get home, I'm done for. Seeing as you're such a good little doggy, you should be able to find your costume all on your lonesome. With your legendary sense of smell. No, 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 no! Why don't you use your nose, like Vic said? 
Because I'm not a real dog, you genie. You smelled him. <laughs> they stink of cheesy feet. You can't smell anything else? Sure. In the background, there's something that smells good, a kind of perfume. That's Vic's aroma. She left her scent on the slippers when she ripped them apart. All you have to do is track down her odor. Visit everywhere she went, and eventually you're sure to find wherever she hid your costume. How do you know all that? You've never been a dog before. No, but in the forest, guys always kept stealing my acorns. So I had to learn to use my snout to find them. I found it. Vic hid my costume in the kibble. I can smell it. Where is it? Don't panic. It happens. It's what you call a false leap. Keep looking. There must be another trail. Going around in circles, are we? You cheat! As mock dogs go, I confess. I'm impressed with you. How about we make a piece? How about we say a fox in dog disguise is equal to a cat? Like that idea? Look, honey. It looks like Wash is feeling better. Maybe we don't need to call the vet after all. Of course. It must be those vitamin-enriched bones that made him crazy like that. He must be allergic to them. I'll throw them away. It's silly, I know, but I think I finally developed a taste for them. <sighs> what? Only fools never change their minds, no? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. In order to trick its numerous predators, certain insects blend in with their environment, such as the phasmid, which takes on the appearance of a stick. Ah! The stick has feet! Good thing the narrator just explained that it's an insect that disguises itself as a stick. Wow! He really is the king of disguise, then! Are you crazy? I'm the king of disguise. I don't know why it should be you. Susie and Eugenie are pretty awesome, too. <laughs> Well, duh! I taught them all they know! That's not true! Sam, who's the king of disguise? Wash or your darling little sister who loves you so much? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, You will be the king of disguise! <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother looking. I have reached a level where I've almost become a real dog. Oh, one thing I'll say. You sure aren't the king of modesty. Come on, girls. Let's leave the king with his jester. <sighs> I am going to turn you girls into the queens of disguise. <laughs> Ta-da! Wow! You are awesome when it comes to making authentic looking disguises. The costume is nothing, actually. The most important thing is to try to embody your characters. Try barking. Woof! 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 Uh, Susie, let Eugenie handle the barking. Okay. <laughs> We're going to have a gas. Just you wait and see. If you are able to fool Wash and trick him into giving you his share of kibble, he'll have to admit that you guys are the queens of disguise. Uh? <laughs> They're coming. Balls in your court. Uh -huh. Is that box there yelping? <laughs> puppies? Oh, they're the cutest puppies I've ever seen. Boy, am I ever annoyed. You could have told me you had kids. I mean, how long have we known each other? Sam, I'm a fox. Foxes don't have puppies. I cannot be their father. Understand? But I understand how you might be confused after all. I am the king of disguise, so it's logical for you to see me as a real dog. So, what are your names? <laughs> Way to go, girls. Okay, so you, you're going to be Napoleon, and you are Jean-Michel. You are so awesome when it comes to choosing puppy names. Oh, and where do these darling creatures come from? These puppies are under my responsibility. Puppies? 
Are you sure they're puppies? <laughs> Very funny, Vic. I know a puppy when I see one. Thank you. Oh, honey. Look what Washington found. What cutie pies. <sighs> but whose puppies are they? They're surely abandoned, and Wash has taken them under his wing. We're going to take great care of you, darlings. You must be starving. I'm going to take care of that on the double. Uh oh, yours are the little boys. <laughs> Honey, don't you think we should talk about this new adoption before getting all carried uh, away? Shh, not here, not in front of the puppies. <laughs> no, no, Napoleon. No, Jean Michel. Those are for the adults. You've had your dinner. Sam, you're being heartless. They were abandoned. I bet they've had nothing to eat for days. Here, little guys, don't listen to him. He's selfish. <laughs> I'm so happy the Livingstones are adopting you. Let me make some room for you in my basket. Sam, you stay with them. I'll just be a second. <laughs> Maybe you should go hide your stuff, no? My stuff? What stuff? These little puppies seem so starved that you wouldn't want them finding a roast chicken under the sofa. Or in the bathroom closet now, would you? Yeah, mind looking after them for a sec? I'll be right back. We did it! Wash didn't notice a thing, and he gave you his portion of kibble. You two are definitely the queens of disguise. <laughs> And now, as soon as Wash comes back, you take off your costumes, okay? I can't wait to see their faces when they find out! Well, uh, I don't think so. We're gonna stay puppies. It's way cooler than being a canary or a rabbit. And besides, we get three times as much kibble! Uh, say what? Well, yeah! Somebody's gotta eat Eugenie and Susie's kibble, too! Uh, girls, it's great. You won. But now, you're going to take off those costumes. Immediately! You're just jealous because we're the queens of the sky. For sure. And I bet you just want to pretend you're a dog like us. Listen, do whatever you want, but I will have warned you. Just you two wait and see who has the last laugh. You don't want your kibble? The puppies are going to grow up fast, and soon we won't have any more room in the house. I'd love to keep them, but really, we can't. You're right. But we can't just abandon them. We have to find them a family. I've heard that Mrs. Appleton wants to adopt a pet for her children. Gracie and Alfie? Are you sure? It's true. They are a bit weird, but that's just one more reason. I'm sure the contact with pets will help them straighten up. Oh, thank you so much. I'm certain that my little darlings are going to care for them as if they were precious treasures. <laughs> Look what I brought you! Aren't they just adorable? No, we wanted a turtle. And you're giving us ugly puppies instead. So unfair! I'm sure you're going to adore them and just look in their eyes. You can tell they already love you. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. Napoleon and Jean-Michel have disappeared. I warned you, Wash. A big brother must never let his little brothers or sisters out of his sight. Me, for example, I never take my eyes off Eugenie 24 hours a day. Oh, yeah? And where is Eugenie? Yeah. Well, she's, uh, uh, Eugenie? Uh, Eugenie! Eugenie? Eugenie! Eugenie! Oh, she's disappeared! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're the worst older brothers in the world! Stop! Napoleon and Jean Michel are Eugenie and Susie disguised as puppies. B -b what? It started as a joke to prove that you weren't the only one who was a master of disguise, Washington. But I have to admit, it got way out of hand. The girls are prisoners of Elfie and Gracie. But that's just awful. What are we going to do? What do you think we're going to do? We're going to free them. But to do that, Washington's going to have to dress up as a turtle. What? Are you joking? Hey, I thought you were the king of disguises. 
Uh, your disguise is a turtle? Are you sure of that? Be patient while the king of disguise lets his talent emerge. Look what I prepared for you, ugly puppy. A super dirt cake and a bowl of pebble soup. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Children don't eat puppies. At least I don't think they do. There's got to be some other explanation. There! They're in the toy box! Like the loving sister! Those little monsters! Oh, Anthony, yes. We're going to get our super turtle to swim in the bathtub! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! She's floating! I want to see the turtle be a submarine. Yes. Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! What are we gonna do? Oh, the horror! The horror! All that water! I'm sorry, I can't do anything. Cats hate water. Yeah, but like, uh, I'm a cat too, and uh, since that's uh, water and all. Kind of like Sam, you. they're not kittens. You can see full well they don't look like cats. What could they be, though? I'm sure I've seen them before. Those? Those are real puppies. I thought you knew how to recognize a puppy, Washington. Uh, uh yeah, of course. I knew that. <laughs> but hey, look, it's TV. What you see is always distorted. It's hard to recognize things. And there's this glare, gets in my eyes, and I, 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 yeah, I... Yeah, right. Instead of being the king of disguise, you wouldn't be the king of bad faith by any chance, would you? Uh, uh, uh what? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Confession to make. I love you. It's my favorite soap opera. Hey, you're not the only one here, and majority rules. Oh, it's always the same with you guys. And I'm already 138 episodes behind. 100% magnetic, totally invisible. The brand new magnetic zipper. The future is now. Zip, 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 zipper. Huh? Invisible? That's what we need! With those zippers, no one will ever know we're wearing costumes! <laughs> My friends, welcome to the end of all our worries! <laughs> Whoa! Silly! What do we do with the real costumes? Toss them into the dumpster, cause the future is now!
super invisible. I even feel like this is my real fur. You? I can't get this unstuck. The magnetic field created by the zippers is way too powerful. Uh -oh. Quick, everyone outside! Ah! Whew, just in time. This is worse than super glue! If this continues, the neighbors are gonna get suspicious. Magnetic zippers look pretty cool on TV, but in reality, they're just a bit... Too magnetic? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, no use crying over zippers. Come on, let's go home. We'll put our old costumes back on. But Wash, our old costumes got thrown in the dumpster. Uh-oh. Washington, Sam, give me that chicken right this second. Mr. Radish, not chicken. <laughs> but, but what in the? That's us. <laughs> but, but how can we both be over there and in here at the same time? And with fried. Chicken? Yeah. Me? Me. Hey there, bros. You gotta let me some. Susie! <laughs> 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 I'm not a dodo bird. Those voices, they ring a bell. <laughs> It's the raccoon gang! They took our costume so they could pretend to be us! Yeah, well, we'll see about that! Give us back our costumes, you bunch of imposters! Imposters? <laughs> who are you kidding? Isn't it you who spends your time pretending to be household pets? Yeah, well, uh, still, those are our costumes, huh? And besides, I'm not a dodo bird! There has to be four of us, otherwise those two humans are gonna catch on. Makes you look fat. Go on, get lost. Go back to your forest, you losers. These are our costumes now, and that is our life. <laughs> And our reputation is shot! All that work we put into becoming perfect pets has just gone up in smoke! This time we're gunners! It's back to the forest! <laughs> no! No way are we gonna let them take over our lives! Yeah? They're gonna find out what we're really made of! Yeah! We're gonna show them I'm not a dodo bird! This time you've gone too far, raccoon! Hey, guys! I think 
think these bozos didn't quite catch our drift. Yeah? Ah, you didn't hear what we said, is that it? Go, Go home! home! Huh? Our beloved little pets, they're being attacked by wild animals! Huh? Yeah! <laughs> Go back to the forest, you nasty beasts! <laughs> <laughs> Right, okay. So, strong arm tactics don't work. We're gonna have to use cunning. Use what? Uh, our intelligence. Okay, so I've got an idea. We'll need Victoria. Are things better now, darlings? We're gonna let you get some rest now. Poor guys. I bet we really did scare them. <sighs> Do you seriously think we're gonna let you choose channels? <sighs> Not us in the house. Well, then who is it? The raccoons! They stole our costumes! You've got to help us! Well, I'll be. I hadn't even noticed. And how is this my problem? Oh, even Victoria can't tell the difference between me and a dodo bird. Listen, Vic, I got a plan. And if you can help us, you can take control of the remote. Mm -hmm. I'm all ears. Hey, guys, you hadn't noticed? It's time. Time for what? Uh, bath time? Have you forgotten? It's the humans who wash us. The pets. <laughs> what? Come on, be brave, my friends. It'll be over quickly, and you'll see. My plan is going to work. <laughs> and what's more? The Living Stones are real sticklers for hygiene. When you put up resistance, they pull out the Bath Robot Enforcer. <laughs> it's time, darlings! <laughs> oh, for dinner! What in the world has gotten into them? Seven more episodes. I have a confession to make. I love you. No. <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. 
the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. How we doing, girls? Still eight minutes and 15 seconds. 14, 13, 12, 11. Yeah, yeah, okay, thanks, we get it. It's just taking so long. You, lots of action. It's a spence. Yeah, right, there's no mystery here. They're just doing spring cleaning. Except it's summer. Our dear owners have simply lost something. They destroy everything in the house whenever something goes missing. They are the wild ones. The last time it was our car keys. Another time it was a tennis racket. The worst of all was the soda bottle opener. They went out of their minds. My beautiful wedding ring. What did I tell you? It's so, so precious to me. And besides, it was my grandmother's. <laughs> I just don't understand. Whenever I'm not wearing it, I always put it there. Okay, let's attack the rest of the house. You want me to use the sledgehammer this time or the wallpaper remover? Ah, the sledgehammer! I was just thinking, what if one of our darling animals swallowed it by mistake? Well, listen, if we don't turn up anything in the house, then we'll go straight to the vet for the x-rays. Did you hear what they said? Yes, they're finally gone. We've got the TV on to ourselves! <laughs> okay, guys, let's all be totally honest about this. Did one of you swallow that ring? Victoria. Mm. Oh, please. If I had swallowed it, I would have spit it out immediately. And believe me, I can tell the difference between a hairball and a ring. Eugenie? Impossible. My metabolism would never allow me to digest gold that is not 100% 24 carat. I admit it. I tried to once, but it got stuck in my beak. Who says it wasn't you, Washington? After all, it's easy to accuse others. Who swallowed the ring? Not to mention the remote control. No! We've got to find a solution before the Living Stones return. Yeah, what you really have to do is find a way to get the remote control before my soap begins. Otherwise, it's me who's going to be sending you back to the forest. The cake is ready! Magnificent. Right, we're going to have to wait until it's cooled down. Listen, I've given it some thought. We'll look in the yard, but if we don't find it there, we're going to the vets. A simple x-ray and we'll know if it's in one of their stomachs. It's a catastrophe. What's an x-ray, Wash? It's a thing that allows you to see everywhere, see through everything, and guess what they're gonna see in us? Hmm? Mm. <laughs> okay, little hint. It's made of metal and it goes up and down. In the elevator? Hmm. Uh, our zippers! Yes! Faster! Up, faster! Up, down, up, down! Come on! Spit! Are you gonna spit out that ring or what? Hmm. <gasps> Watch out! She's looking this way! <laughs> We're gonna have to find another way. <laughs> so, Sam, is it coming or what? Did you get the ring, did ya? Look, my favorite toy. It's amazing. I was sure it was lost forever. <gasps> Hit, expel. 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 Hit. <laughs> <laughs> You got the ring! Uh, no. On the other hand, Susie knows exactly where the remote control is. Yippee! I'm going to 
to be able to watch myself now. I still don't think you get it. If we don't find that ring right this second, we're all goners! Hey there, gang. What do you say to a little outing right about now? I hate you all. That, x-rays, zippers, we may as well head straight for the forest right now, guys. No! I haven't said my last word yet. But I hope your stomach is up to this, Sam. Mm -hmm. Everything okay in there, Susie? Affirmative, Washington! But it's totally pitch black in here! Good luck, little one! Did you find the ring? No! It's not gonna be easy! You wouldn't believe the junkyard in Sam's stomach! You uh, will what? Awesome! Huh? Oh, that's so beautiful! Where's that music coming from? Did you just turn the radio on, honey? Mm -mm. Susie! This is no time to play piano! The ring! We're here, Susie, quick, hurry up! Well, it's make or break now, guys. Uh, you're here for x-rays? Uh, but that, uh, uh, that's not possible. Uh, you have to make an appointment at least 48 hours in advance and put them on a very specific diet. What in the world are you talking about, Vladimir? Shh. You know very well that I hate the x-ray machine. It scares me. And besides, I am, uh, extremely busy. There is no way I can see so many patients right now. In fact, I'm full up. But there's nobody but us here. I must absolutely get my ring back. My precious <laughs> ring! Do you understand? <laughs> oh, uh, oh, uh, very well then. Uh, no problem. <laughs> What I should do is go verify the instructions menu. Oh, uh, what I mean is, uh, Avelma, will you please fill out the four admissions forms? Four? One, two, three, four, and... But... But Susie, she's missing. Oh. Can we leave them with you? We have to go back and get Susie, our canary. Come on, Vladimir. Uh. Let's go set up the x-ray machine. Oh. Ugh, and now we have to get x-rayed? You guys sure have given me the royal treatment. <laughs> so? Nothing! It would take a lifetime to sort out everything in Sam's stomach. Yeah. Hey, no one has ever complained about my internal disorder before. And it was already pretty nice of me to let you go rummaging around. Yeah, sorry, Sam, it's true. But you really do eat a lot. You're right. And it's pretty easy to swallow a ring. Anybody could, especially without even knowing it. Uh, great! Right. So, uh, I guess I'll be getting back to the mines. Yeah. My little Susie, perfect. I'll just call your owners and let them know while the vet runs you through the x-ray machine. Hi. You are going to climb up there and stand behind the screen while I take your x-rays. And we will immediately be able to see everything you are hiding. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Velma? <laughs> Which button is it again that uh, turns on the machine? The big red button. And the light regulator? Well, you have to place the cursor on zero to turn it on. And then you increase the brightness little by little while turning the little knob on the left in order to sharpen the contrast. Vic, quick, mm -hmm. distract the vet. That way, we'll be able to quickly take off our costumes and we'll put them back on when we step out of the machine. And what's in it for me? Our kibble for the whole week? The pillow next to the radiator? Massages? You get to watch your favorite series on TV every single day. It's a deal. Hmm, weird. Velma? Now! Come on now, Vladimir. I've already shown you a thousand times. There, it's ready. 
no sign of a ring. On the other hand, I'm going to have to prescribe a serious cure for the fat cat so we can get rid of all that junk. Hmm? What do you mean, sir? <laughs> Way to go, Vladimir. Excellent analysis. I'm very proud of you. Come on now, quit pretending to be shy. Come out from behind there. So, oh. did you find my ring? She's back! No sign of a ring. Too bad. Here. I wanted to apologize for having lost my cool earlier, so I baked you a cake. My cake! Huh? Oh, how sweet of you. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> ring was there in the cake all along. Perfect. Now, do you mind turning up the volume, Susie? Veronica, I have a confession to make. I love you. <sighs> Dr. Alessandro, why, I love you too. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Why was I crying again? Uh, because I wish I was a cat so I can eat kibble all day long and watch TV. Oh, yeah. Because I wish I was a cat so I can eat TVs and watch kibble. Day long, all? Oh, forget it, Sam. With my magic rainbow, I grant you happiness and wonder. Hmm? Thank you, Eugenie. A unicorn. It's a game. We're only pretending I'm Lily the Unicorn. <laughs> Lily the Unicorn. That's totally for babies. Hogwash! Lily the Unicorn is amazing. If you say so. Okay, Sam. Put your costume back on. Let's go outside and play something cool, maybe, huh? <laughs> What's up with you guys? You're doing great. How about yourself? You should watch what you're doing. You nearly squished my face off, and I gotta go perform on Animal Star, you knuckleheads. What's that I hear? Who dares argue in the land of wonder? What on earth is that? Well, you know, the Masters had this unicorn come visit, but she was about to leave. Have you gone out of your mind? What do you think you're playing at? At least I look like a unicorn, right? Get inside and zip up your rabbit costume before the living stones get back from the market. There is no more Eugenie. Now my name is Gigi, the happy unicorn. Okay, let me explain. A unicorn is an imaginary animal, which means that outside the TV, they don't exist. If the living stones discover you like that, you'll blow your cover straight away. And you can say farewell, happiness, and hello to a world of horror back in the forest. Too bad, because I put my rabbit costume in the trash. So from now on, it's unicorn or nothing. We're home. Sam, haul them off in the house. Susie, come with me. <laughs> Susie, keep watch while I get her costume back. On earth did she put it? Alert! Alert! Mr. Livingstone is gonna put the market basket in Gigi's hiding place! Too late! I can't believe it! It's incredible! <laughs> Have you seen this, Sweetie Pies? A unicorn! Isn't it magnificent? Hey, honey! Uh... <sighs> <laughs> oh, 
darling. I found a baby unicorn in the shack in the yard. Isn't it amazing? I've always dreamt of having my own unicorn. And to think you said they didn't exist. Oh, yes, indeed. Have you seen this, sweetie pies? Oh, hey, where's your genie? Uh, she must be having her afternoon nap somewhere. Quick, a selfie. I've got to get it on my Hamstergram account. You must be hungry, cutie pie. Gibble all around, my lovely furballs. It's not every day your dream comes true. So, who is it that said farewell happiness and hello world of horror, yada, yada, yada? Not me. And here you can trot around to your heart's content. Hello, Mr. Snobby Nose. Let me introduce my lovely little Marvel. A unicorn? <laughs> How ridiculous. Oh. It's the Animal Star TV show. Hello, yes. Oh, what do you mean? <clears throat> Animal Star canceled Alvarez. They found somebody better on a hamstergram account. Don't you realize what this means? It's an outrage. Which animal could possibly surpass Alvarez? Come on, you know what they say. See a unicorn and feel happy all day. Hi, <clears throat> Animal Star wants a phone interview with you. They even canceled an Afghan Greyhound to talk about your unicorn. <laughs> Sorry, important call to make. Let me leave you with your new friend, Susie. This is amazing! What do you want to do now that you're a unicorn? I want to make everybody happy, duh! And to begin with, with my magic horn and rainbow power, I name you Deputy of Happiness! Yippee! Everything I've dreamed of! Thank you, Gigi! Give me that remote control! Uh-huh! Uh -huh. Hush! With my magic horn and rainbow power, let me make your dearest dream come true! I name you Commander of the Remote Control! Mm. Sounds right. Banana pancakes! Win the holiday of a lifetime! And cream sauce with broccoli and... Sam, don't sulk! You heard what Gigi said! <laughs> with my magic horn and rainbow power, your dearest is granted. May you have all the kibble you can eat. Who do you want to thank? Thank you, Gigi. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, clowns, you're not through yet? There are folks trying to sleep around here. There's no need to be so unkind. Kindness is the food of life. Otherwise, it'll cost you one kibble in the naughty box. Mm -hmm. Pop up. <laughs> and what are you going to do next, you? Complaining is forbidden. That'll be two kibble now. But I don't have any. Don't lie to me. I know you stashed them under your pillow. Huh? Now you're up to three, Kibble. <sighs> yes, with my magic horn, I can indeed make you happy. What is your dearest wish? We want to have the same litter box as Vic. Her litter box is the best. They say it smells like cotton candy. I'd like the same neckerchief as Alvarez. He never lets me borrow it. With my magic horn and rainbow power, all of your wishes will be granted. <sighs> Doing? That's my litter box. Don't worry, you can share Sam's litter box. What? No way! That's not nice. One kibble. Oh. Gigi, he wants to steal my hat. It's not a hat, it's my cravat. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Happiness is all about sharing. With my magic horn, I declare that Vincent has the right to wear his neckerchief hat every other day. No complaining. Cough it up. One kibble in the naughty box. Totally but when everything is said and done, I decided to throw my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Say, dumbbells, quit the magic unicorn act, or there's going to be trouble. Boo hoo hoo. We're so afraid. <laughs> <laughs> You know that wild animals are forbidden in this yard. Well, so are imaginary animals, too. Really? See your unicorn? You'd better lock it up indoors right this instant or else. What's all this? Not more arguments. He started it. Ah, ah, ah. Give me your paws. With my magic horn, I offer the ribbon of friendship. Go make peace <laughs> or else. You gotta listen to Gigi. She can make us happy using her magic horn. Ever since she turned up, I've had all the kibble like you need. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. She's watching us quick. Let's be peaceful. But 
That is disgusting. Alvarez, what has happened to your dignity and your cravat? Here I was coming out to post photos of you on Hamstergram. <laughs> How horrific. You leave me no choice, Alvarez. I'm going to have to replace you with a magic animal even more magical than a unicorn. And he will make it onto Animal Star. An animal more magical than a unicorn? Whatever could that be? I intend to steal the horn of that ridiculous unicorn and become magic in her place. I shall make it onto Animal Star and win back my master's love. What is going on here? Uh, a wild animal? I'm calling the dog pound. Uh. Oh. Hello, animal pound. Uh, can't you see the poor little creature is terrorized? She must feel so lost. I shall take her back to the forest myself right this instant. goes, who's gonna give me all the kibble I can eat? Sam, there are worse matters at hand. If you're hungry, eat this. Thanks, Wash. <laughs> Eugenie's costume, she hid it in her magic horn. I'm just taking the baby boar back to the forest. You can help me look for Eugenie when you get home. I'm Eugenie, what are you doing here, beautiful? You haven't seen a baby boar, have you? Huh? He got out through the window? Okay, I guess he must have set off home. Come on, I have to introduce you to our extraordinary new friend. Mm -hmm. Say, where did she go? Phew! I looked everywhere. Nothing. Our unicorn has disappeared. You know, honey, that's the thing with magic animals. They appear and disappear just like that. But when we have such a magnificent crew of fantastic furry friends, who needs unicorns to be happy? No, oh, you're right, honey. So, what are you watching, Lily the Unicorn? Ha! Huh, that's for babies. We're watching Goliath the Dragon. Now that's cool. Okay with the dragon, but no fooling around this time, okay? <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. <laughs> they are so funny. <laughs> Wait, that's nothing. This time, the pyramid! <laughs> we look so well rehearsed. Quick trick and a treat. Easy. They remember everything. But you should see Washington do this. He's by far the best of the four of them. Hey, what about me? Say, where is Washington? <sighs> oh. Answer number three, a cup of hot chocolate. Ah, oh, my little wash. Uh -huh. Time for the quick fire question round. What insect produces honey? One, flies, two, bees, three, ants. Did you see that? Yeah, it's crazy the show's still going. That presenter must be 150 years old by now at least. Look at Washington. He's answering the questions. Look at his tail. Who invented the famous formula E equals MC squared? One, Einstein. Two, Heidi. Three, Eisenhower. <gasps> wow! <laughs> Our dog is a genius! I found my special edition of the best Quizmaster questions ever. So, how long is an Olympic swimming pool? One, 50 meters. Two, 164 feet. Three, 
5,000 centimeters. What are they doing to me? Don't worry. Same game, different day. Do what they want and the kibble is yours. Mm -hmm. Oh, huh? no. For a moment, he was amazing. Now he's getting the answers all wrong. Not at all, honey. He sidestepped their trap. All three answers were correct. Well done, Washington. Incredible. Ah. Oh. What a clever boy you are, Wash. How come you know all that? TV! He loves the documentary and education channel. This is not looking good. Aren't you the one who always says you've got to keep your heads down, not draw attention to the animal inside? Of course not. It's just a harmless little game. How's it going to draw attention to us? That's mm -hmm. right. I want to sign my dog up for the Quiz Master Challenge. His name's Washington. W-A-S-H-I-N-G-T-O-N. <laughs> there they are! He's gonna be full of himself. And today's show, we have a very special contestant, Washington the dog. Let me remind everybody of today's special rules adapted for our new furry competitor. Washington will answer questions by wagging his tail one, two, or three times. And we're off. Washington, who is Sherlock Holmes' companion? One, Dr. Radcliffe. Two, Dr. Watson. Three, Dr. Groove. <laughs> Next question. Which pyramid is the biggest? One, the Pyramid of Maidum. Two, the Pyramid of Calf. Three, the Pyramid of Chaos. Come on, come on, come on. The score is going through the roof. <laughs> we have a winner. <laughs> this is incredible. Meet Washington the Wonder Dog with a wonder brain. Ladies and gentlemen, this dog has just broken the show's record. <laughs> wow! I have to admit, we did good. The next stage will be the grand finale against the Grand Quiz Master Champion of all time, Mr. Pelface. Who will be the winner? Come what may, it promises to be a phenomenal battle. That's right. The grand finale is tomorrow morning. We're very confident, aren't we, Wash? Well done, Wash. I've always said that dog is as cunning as a fox. Isn't he laying it on a bit thick? <laughs> You can say that again. And he's getting all that kibble and not sharing a single one. So, Vic, gonna congratulate me? I had it all under control and incognito. <laughs> uh, Mr. Livingstone, Washington's rival in the final, Mr. Pofay says the show's been rigged. What do you have to say to his accusations? What? Take a look for yourself. The whole thing's a masquerade, and I'm going to prove it. In the freak event that Silly Hound does beat me, I have the organizer's permission to get its so-called intelligence tested live and direct by the renowned vet, Vladimir Vedovic. Wash would be delighted to cooperate. Tests, after all, are his specialty. Personally, I can't wait to find out Wash's IQ. The sky's the limit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, well. Now this is getting interesting. What does he mean, silly hound? Me and my so-called intelligence are deeply hurt. If I understand correctly, if you do win this final wash, you're gonna be probed and examined from every angle. And us wild guys, we're not so fond of that idea. Good heavens. This here is no wonder, dog. It is a fox. Oh, no! <laughs> you gotta stop being so intelligent, Wash. Huh? Listen, Wash, it's simple. You have to lose. Yes, or else it's straight back to the forest for us all. Farewell, glory. Farewell, intelligence. The world will have to be deprived of my prodigious talent. So tell me, what do I have to do to be dumb? Hmm? Sam, Eugenie, Susie, Vic, any idea? Count me out. Mm -hmm. Is it that hard to try to get the answers wrong deliberately? Right, I'll try a different question. This time, it's really easy. Remember, Wash, you have to get it wrong, okay? Wash, how many dwarves live with Snow White? Seven. <laughs> no, I just can't help it. Wash, you're too intelligent for your own good. We don't have a choice. It's time to become genuinely stupid. Hmm, that's given me a brilliant idea. What we could do... Stop with your brilliant ideas. Why don't you think like me? It's really easy. All I do is don't think. I never thought I'd say this, but Wash's intelligence is going to be our downfall. Super sour candy stings my tongue so much my brain shuts down. So, Wash, has it worked? No, it just stings like uh, crazy. 
how they do it? Oh, yeah, uh, yes, I do. It's the tartaric acid they use, isn't it? Tartamic what? Uh... <laughs> now we're gonna brainwash you and replace your knowledge with completely useless information. <laughs> Uh, what do you see here? Uh, uh, yeah, a car? No, it's a flower! A flower that looks like a car? Let's start all over again. <laughs> How about this? A postage stamp. Good day to you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Welcome to this historic program, Washington versus Mr. Poface. I'm scared. Don't worry, it'll all go super well. Go on, Washington, give it your best shot. Uh, I mean, your worst shot. <laughs> Washington will get the ball rolling. Mm -hmm. Who painted the Mona Lisa? One, Leonardo da Vinci. Two, Leonardo DiCaprio. Three, Leonard the Lion. Uh, mm -hmm. Wow, Leonardo da Vinci. He totally got that wrong. Uh, not that wrong, in fact. It's pretty right. Three, the Mississippi. <laughs> Zero errors. Your opponent has his work cut out for him. And here he is. It's time for Mr. Poface. Wasn't the plan to get the answers wrong? The device scans animals and searches their brain, seeking out every scrap of information inside. Nothing escapes detection. Well done, Mr. Poface. Another flawless round. You might not have been as quick fire as your opponent, but only the score counts. We'll be right back after this short commercial break. I don't know what's going on. I can see the wrong answer, but my tail won't respond. It's like it has an intelligence of its own. Time for the big decider. Get ready, competitors. Here we go. Can you tell me the exact number of teeth to be found in the mouth of the Volupus Volupus, a.k.a. the Red Fox? Uh, 29, 30, 31... Uh, uh, 34! Uh, 32! Washington, that is incredible! Time to drop the act. Stop this masquerade. I don't want to see this, I don't want to see this, I don't want to see now, this. Well, just how does this work? Oh, well, I guess it's plugged in. Should we be worried that they're not his real ears? Shh. This animal is absolutely not gifted in any way. I regret to tell you that there is absolutely zero brain activity zero. present. Huh? It is a mystery how he manages to put one leg in front of the other. As a result, I invalidate the result of this competition. What a phenomenal turnaround! I hereby crown Mr. Poface as our new champion! <laughs> really? Washington isn't gifted after all? You know, we are dealing with statistics. Global warming, in my opinion. Its casualties are simply a coda appendage reflex mm -hmm. reaction. The information transmitted by Washington's eyes, ears, or nose bypasses the brain, and so its flow continues uninterrupted directly to the tail in the form of a jolt of nervous energy, giving rise to erratic movements, which in certain contexts and scenarios may seem to have significance. In a word, his tail probably just wags on its own, and there's nothing he can do about it. For once, the guy is actually right! <laughs> You know, Wash, it doesn't matter if you're intelligent or not. We still love you very much. Yeah, we love you very much, too, even if you are lame. <sighs> Our question of the day, what is the square root of nine? Tweet, tweet, tweet! The right answer is three. <gasps> hey, did you hear that? <laughs> Susie chirped three times. <laughs> Quick, where's my telephone? <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? 
Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What's the surprise? You'll see. If we don't leave soon, we'll miss the lunar eclipse. Just one minute. I've nearly finished. Here we go. System activated. Now I can control the whole house. I am a one-man smart home wizard. What's a smart home whiz head? No idea. But I think we're about to find out. Allow me to demonstrate. Greetings and welcome to the Mirage Home Automation System. Your remote assistant smart home dream wizard. Dinner is served. No! Wow! wow. <laughs> and you haven't seen nothing yet. Oh. <laughs> this is incredible! <laughs> yeah! Incredible! And that isn't all, but we have a lunar eclipse to catch. Don't worry, honey. It'll be all right here when we get back. In the meantime, my furry friends, I've prepared a special program for you. Here we go. Nature sound activated. See you tomorrow morning. This is going to end in tears. Good luck. <laughs> but this is terrible. It's like we're back in the forest. Don't worry, guys. I've got it. This here tablet is where it's at. When he says I've got it, that's when we start worrying, right? Nature escape deactivated. There you go. Just ask the expert. Okay, let's see. Why don't we create a little atmosphere? How about a little music? <laughs> 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 ah, now that's what I call music. How about a little massage? <laughs> oh, sorry. sure if it's a good idea to play with the tablet, Washington. Of course it is, Sam. You'll see. The possibilities are endless. Hey, that sounds like... Kibble! Uh, what? That's enough kibble, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'll go look for the stop button. Just a second. No need. I got it covered. It's okay. I found it. Tropical scape activated. Wow. Is it getting hot in here or is it me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bit. <laughs> I'll sort this out in no time. How about we press that big green button there and stop the whole thing? Don't worry, Eugenie. I have the situation under control. You'll see. Adjusting to maximum temperature. <laughs> I think my costume is melting, Wash. Alert! Toxic matter detected. Quarantine commencing. Disinfection of premises. Five, four, three. Complete. Uh oh, quick, hide! Oh, what was that alarm? We never get a moment's peace around here. Those neighbors sure are a wild bunch. Oh, come here, you sleepyhead. Uh oh, I think we got a tiny problem. You know we're wild animals? No, Sam. We're locked outside. Oh, no. No costumes, no kibble. My turn. Oh. Why didn't we press the big green button again? <coughs> Stop. You'll 
It'll wake up the whole neighborhood. But what are we gonna do? Breathe deeply. Everything is gonna be fine. And let's just keep calm. If this really is a smart house, then it and I are gonna get on great. Hi, Mirage. I'm Washington. Would you be so kind as to let us back in? Hmm? It's all been a silly little misunderstanding. Our costumes aren't toxic, and we really need to get them back. We can at least say something. What are you gonna open up? You disconnected on your junk! Is this some kind of joke? It's a good thing you told us to keep calm. Say, Wash, I've got a great idea to get back into the house. Good job, Eugenie. But I have a better idea. We'll go in via the roof. Give me a hand, Sam. We're gonna need some gear. Is it me? Or does he never listen to my ideas? Wanna hear it, Susie? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! Remember when you snuck into the house through the piping system? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Hey, say, where have the girls gone? Wash, are you sure this is the right time to go skiing? I know what I'm doing. On five, then. Five! 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 Okay, wait. Five! Hang on, Susie! There you go. Problem solved. Whew. Right. Let's get our costumes back. Here it is. Mm. <laughs> Underfoot heating is at the maximum! Wash your tail! 
fire alert. Wow, that was a close call. It's up, baby cake. Is everything... Huh? What has happened here? Looks like the program went crazy. Where are our poor little darlings? My dear little angels, you must have been terrified. For sure. I'm going to uninstall this hopeless smart house system straight away. And you'll be getting double kibble all week. Looks like I made the right decision going with them, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. We came through just fine. Yeah? So what's that uh, then? Um... <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. back and next time vengeance will be ours amigo first to the sofa gets to choose a tv program come on maybe you could try it from the opposite direction tomorrow back already huh sounds like it's coming from behind the house whoa what is he doing do you see that sam what do you think it is? A surprise. It's a guy who decorates things in secret, so when the owners come back and see them, they have a big surprise. Awesome. You think he wants to surprise the Living Stones, too? No idea, but sure is pretty. Hey, you! Oh, no. Why'd he leave so soon? He didn't even finish his surprise. Duh. I've always dreamed of being a delinquent. How about we all prepare the Living Stones a surprise? Oh, yeah. You'll see! It'll be amazing! <laughs> My eyes! I can't see anything! <laughs> yeah? Uh-oh! If your plan was to surprise the Living Stones, you sure did a great job! Uh, oh, no, no, no! Not our costumes! No! So that wasn't the plan then? Wow! I dig the new costumes! Groovy! I want one too! And me! No, they're not groovy at all. Quick, we have to wash our costumes straight away. <laughs> Lucky the Living Stones have gone out for the day. Yoo We're back already. Oh, those spots. What are they? Honey, come quickly. I think Wash and Sam have gotten some weird disease. Ah, you're hideous. Quick, let's get the Yoo dick <laughs> How troublesome. How very troublesome. What? What is it? What's up with them? I have no idea. But, uh, what I mean to say is that I need a little time to, uh, uh, to compare the photo with my database and carry out further analytics. In the meantime, huh? I advise you head home. We have to find some way to wash these spots off. Otherwise, that vet will finally find out we're wearing costumes. <laughs> Don't worry. My secretary will keep you posted about just how, uh, your pet's disease is coming along. We've got to get them out of there and fast! Come on, let's try the window! I don't want to go back to the forest! In the rain? In the cold? No kibble? No TV? No roast chicken! Oh, Sam! Give me a hand here! Hmm? Yeah! <laughs> 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 
not even a small bar of soap. Okay, plan B. We gotta get out of here. Let it be. Ah! You can go on lunch break later. It's still only 10 o'clock in the morning. And I do believe you have sick animals to attend to. Okay. So, where do we think these little red spots have come from? Phew. I'm gonna lock this door, Vladimir. I know what you like. Call me when you found the problem. Call me when you found the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear that, Bush? The door's locked. Don't panic. We'll find some way of getting out of here. No! I don't know yet. We need a sick... There you go! What was I telling you, huh? Yeah, we're here! Uh, oh dear, that looks serious. I'd better move on to business stuff, or Welma won't let me have any pudding again. We need something to remove the paint! Remove the paint! <laughs> she understood. Now we just have to wait for them to get back. <laughs> well, now you're going to be proud of me. <laughs> they have acute inflamed boobinitis, a highly rare disease that died out several centuries ago. Incredible, huh? Vladimir, I knew we'd turn you into something someday. The illness is caused by a dangerous virus that is extremely contagious. Virus? Extremely contagious? <laughs> Put on a pair of gloves. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> there we go. Quarantine. Well done, Vladimir. Don't move. I'll go see who it is. What? How on earth there did you... There we go! Mission accomplished! Your day has come at last, Vladimir! Acute inflamed boobinitis is back and you've got a cage full of specimens! Fame and glory will be yours! All yours! Gl glory Oh, Velma! Come on! We're organizing a press conference within the hour and we're gonna show the world in its greatest what this extremely dangerous virus is about. An extremely dangerous virus? I'm too young for this. I still have so much to live for. So many acorns to eat in. Okay, let's calm down, all right? Sam, let me remind you, the spots are red paint, and it's only paint, okay? Right now, we've got to get out of here and fast. <laughs> <laughs> Impossible to open from the inside. Your cage isn't locked like mine. All you have to do is push it. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Well done, Wash. You're amazing. Don't thank me. Thank our new buddy. Thanks, buddy. So why is your cage locked? Sometimes I get these mood swings, so that that put me in a special cage. But if you lend me a hand, the opening is below the door. Hmm? I always knew that us cats could count on each other. Us cats? Hmm? <laughs> but you're not a cat, you're a tiny dog. I'm not actually a dog, I'm a cat. A cat. Meow, meow. And I hate dogs. Uh, everything okay there, buddy? I got this right. He's a dog who's a cat who doesn't like dogs, right? There's some hidden message in all this. Enough! That dog's going crazy! I'm not a dog and I'm not crazy! Yeah! Ah! What's going on, Velma? I've got to choose which bow tie I'm going to wear for our video conference. <laughs> ah! They're going to contaminate us! Vladimir! Judy is calling, Vladimir! 
Your press conference with the world's greatest specialists is about to start any minute now. Mm -hmm. This is your chance, Vladimir. Be a man and show some guts. You're right. I need a net, gloves, a protective mask. <laughs> easy now, easy. You know, Washington isn't really a dog. He's actually a... Sam, don't give away our secret. A <gasps> uh, cat. Hey, I'm actually a cat, too. Meow. Meow. Yeah, so are we. Meow. Meow. Have you all gone completely crazy? Huh? Is he being serious? My word! It looks like acute inflamed boobinitis has even more serious side effects than I'd first imagined. Pull yourself together, Vladimir! You're pathetic! Easy now, we're real cats. Huh? Yeah, we love clawing the sofa, purring all day, and eating salmon kibble. Isn't that right, buddies? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, looks like we got ourselves another crazy mud in our tails. <laughs> A dog? I hate dogs! Video conference activated. Hello? 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 Mushy, mushy. Hello? What just happened to us, guys? That story was complete nonsense. You're right. It was really weird. Not only are our careers as delinquents over, but our costumes are still covered in red spots. Don't forget that in three, two, one, it's time for the automatic sprinkler! Yeah! <laughs> Hmm, that for sure is quite unique. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>